Hi. Hello, welcome to this first edition of Creator Interviews that we are producing to better give you an idea of what goes into producing a video pack and also tell the story of the people generating these things. Uh, this week we look at creator Roman, who has produced the legendary Trombola pack that we've seen in the OP1, and also a very useful XY utility that he is open source for anyone that wants to check out. Mm -hmm. Roman is also an accomplished musician with a few albums and singles on Spotify, which I will link below in the description. The background music you're hearing right now is a song off his LP, uh, Waiting, Waiting Room in the Middle of Nowhere. Uh, goes by the band name One Isle. I believe he created this using Machine and Reason, so feel free to check that out. So welcome, Roman. I'm glad to have you here discussing your video pack journey with us. Thanks for inviting. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more where you're from and how you stumbled upon making video packs? Yeah, so I'm from Washington, and um, I came across video packs because I, w I had these neat music utility ideas. I like that Tombola on the OP1. I always wanted sort of an XY pad that could send MIDI on an iOS device. And I messed around with like building that in Xcode. I could never get that fully working. And I ran across a Red Means recording video that happened to showcase one of your video packs even. And that showed me what could really be done. And I just sort of fell down a rabbit hole and continued from there. And uh, I built the two video packs you talked about. Very cool. Yeah, that's it's it's really cool. I like the design too. It's really like all the, the lettering is kind of very teenage engineering approved. So it's, it's <laughs> um, yeah. So I, are you happy with the outcome of it? Or is there anything you would change maybe in a second version? It's definitely buggy. I would love to fix a couple of things, and I do still work on it to some extent. I've been uploading my changes to GitHub. Um, but like, you just, to build a video pack, you have to do a lot of strange workarounds, and I have to like store a note on a, tr on a channel you're not using. So if you accidentally select that one, it sort of messes it up. I'd love to try to fix that and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, you'll find there's a lot of little hacks you have to store notes here and there to kind of uh, <laughs> troubleshoot things so I, I don't know it's it's part of the process and it took me a long time to figure out too I, um, so do you, do you consider yourself an artist or a designer or a tool maker when it comes to making your video packs definitely leaning towards tool maker I like the utilities I I don't I, I struggle with inspiration like I can make music but I can't make visuals very well. I don't have that texturing or modeling skill, so I just decided to build the cool concepts and hopefully I can have someone else come along and make them look nice. Um, but yeah, I don't... I, I do love playing around with the interactive art, I just struggle to make it myself. Yeah, that'd be cool. There's a lot of... A lot of people are like either 3D modelers or technical. That'd be cool to have like a collaboration at some point when, you know, get everyone together and Oh, that was see, see the strong sweet uh, and uh, so yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, so how about like um, as a musician, like how is your music routine? And you have a pretty good album on Spotify, um, as well as a few other singles. And um, what tools are you usually using to create music? And how's that? Yeah, uh, we make music in a couple of ways. Um, I use Reason, but my bandmate uses Ableton. And when we get together, we sync up our computers using Ableton Link and we'll slowly build a song together, just using our hardware and trying to jam out. And that's just, that's super fun. Um, I know one of the other things we do often is we'll do a music challenge where we either get a sample or some rule we have to follow. And you have to make a first draft of a song in an hour. I believe, I could be wrong about which song this is, but the one we're listening to started with the challenge of make a song without hearing it. And then we edited it from there to make something that actually sounded good. Yeah, super cool. It seems, it almost seems just like one person made that track. And I don't know, I, I was getting into it when I was listening to some of the some of the Spotify links, so. Um, so you have any advice for, you know, other people are just like joining and jumping into Unity and trying to figure out all the weirdness that goes into interactive art? Oh yeah, and just like, try anything. There is no harm in trying. The visual scripting language is, you know, 
pretty easy to get started with once you get it set up. And the Discord server we've got is so nice for asking questions. If you are confused with either setup or getting some crazy complex idea you have in your head, you can build that and you can uh, uh, you can ask for help if you're stuck, and everyone here is happy to help, including me. Yep, and I just want to say Roman kind of kicked off these interviews. He pushed for the uh, getting these going, so I want to uh, thank you for that. That's uh, we'll see we'll see how far these can go, but it, so far everyone's kind of excited to you know get behind the camera and, and talk about their video packs, and you know it is a community after all, so we got to embrace that and <laughs> you know um, let see. You know what other kinds of video packs everyone is coming up with it could be a tool or you know almost like an interactive game um but oh. there's a lot of opportunity to like expand upon the opz ecosystem so that's what i really like about it um so that kind of wraps it up here um thanks for you know letting us get an inside look at your your process here and uh, hopefully you'll be back later on you know um as your fantastic. video pack journey uh, keeps growing and, and glad to have you here and uh, if anyone else wants to join community and, and start making the packs for your OPZ and if you want to make MIDI driven visuals for any other sense other than the OPZ as well uh, then check out our discord link in the description below and uh, until next time I'll see you guys later